Okay, so I'm gonna get started on breakfast, and I know this seems like a lot, but I swear it is so simple and easy, and I've been making this maybe like two times a week. It is so, so yummy. So you guys know that I'm like always listening to a book or a podcast, so this is the book that I'm listening to right now. It is called Sister Dear, and I am on chapter 16, but I still have a lot left. I still have seven hours left. It is so good so far. I always have a hard time judging how much hash browns we're gonna eat. So I try to go off the serving size. Uh, maybe a little more. Okay, that's for James. <laughs> And that's for me. Mm, I'm looking out from my window. Sun's coming up like the day before. You're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. to wake up yeah oh, we can spend all day in bed i'll put the tv in the room we'll have a netflix marathon kg saxophone we'll order in a bunch of food i'll put your favorite music on all the way baritone Shut the lights, go in for red. Usually I would dice up some spinach or like cut this, but meh, not today. <laughs> not in the mood. I'll just rip it. <sighs> I definitely made the mistake. I put in the veggies a little too soon, so the avocados are having trouble. Ooh, actually, that looks good. Never mind, take it back. <laughs> They're not as crispy as I'd like, but it looks like it's finally working. We can spend all day in bed. Yes, okay. Yes. I was a little worried. Like, the one time I record it, it's not going to turn out. They were looking a little much. They're getting better. Look at all those colors. And I just put on some workout clothes because I am going to just go on the treadmill for a little bit. I don't have a ton of energy today. It is so hot outside and our treadmill is in the garage so I know it's going to be really hot but I need, I've been telling myself I need to do 30 minutes every day and I've been pretty good about it. Okay, don't judge the mess. This is the garage and we have not had time, well, to go through it recently, but also it's so hot. But I was planning on running on the treadmill today, but now that I'm out here, I'm like, oh my gosh, it is so hot and muggy. Like I, it's, the air is like thick thick hot like hard to breathe hot so I'm gonna turn a couple fans on and I'm just gonna try to walk at an incline to at least get some kind of exercise in Tonight we are running on the right track. Oh my goodness. Okay, 
I'm so sweaty. I just did 30 minutes. I mostly just walked really fast on an incline. I didn't really run. It was too hot out there. So I'm gonna go jump in the shower real quick. Okay, I just got out of the shower and I always let my hair dry. Very rarely will I blow dry my hair, maybe like once a month, <laughs> honestly. Um, so I'm not gonna blow dry it, I just let it air dry. It dries straight anyways. Um, the only time I do blow dry it is because I want some more volume because my hair sometimes does dry really flat. But I'm about to go make my smoothie that I have every single day. I always make it for me and Will and we split it. But first, um, I wanted to apply my skincare and I figured I would just show you guys what I've been using. So I just use these three products. Eh, sometimes I don't use this. I go back and forth on eye creams. But this um, anti-wrinkle renewal cream and this serum I use every day and I've been using for a long time. So first what I always do, nope, wrong, I'm already out of <laughs> order. So first what I always do is I apply this Derma E Vitamin C Concentrated Serum with Hyaluronic Acid. This is a hot mess. This is why I'm not a beauty guru. But Okay, I am starting to get nauseous because I have not eaten in a while and then I worked out and now after I worked out I was hungry and then I took a shower and then I was like, okay, now I really need to eat. So I'm gonna go make myself a smoothie and I'm gonna take you guys with me and show you how I make it. I make it every single day. It is so healthy. I, I literally jam like a whole salad into that thing, but I really like how it tastes too, and I make William drink it. Okay, so this is the smoothie I make William and I every day, and also James too, depending on like his work schedule. I use like the cheapest blender ever. It's just this, how do you say it, Oster? And it's kind of pathetic, you guys are gonna see. When I make this smoothie, I blend it for like, it feels like 30 minutes and I keep having to stir it and do all these things because this is the cheapest blender. I think it was $14.99 maybe, if I'm not mistaken, from Target a long time ago. But I am too cheap to buy a nicer blender even though I make smoothies every day. I just tell myself like it, it works, it gets the job done. I don't need to spend the money on it. I don't know, you'll see. It takes forever, but it works. With you, I feel like breaking rules on the edge, looking out with no parachute. You know, I'm dreaming about us too, playing around without a clue on the edge, leaning out. With us, it's all or nothing. Oh, but guess I need more of you. Oh, with us, it's all or nothing. But guess I need more of you. Okay, so this is everything I put in the smoothies. Flax seeds, strawberry, blueberries, chia seeds, um, Greek yogurt, banana, celery, kale, spinach, and almond milk. So, I don't know, I just feel like it's really nutrient packed. So yeah, I'm just gonna get going on blending it because it takes forever.
see it's not it's not even like there's not enough liquid because this down here is liquidy it's just you gotta kind of you gotta put some work in with this blender that's okay This is my smoothie. I love it. It is so good. And then I give the rest to William. So he's actually taking his nap. I'm going to put this in the fridge. And then when he wakes up, I think I'm going to blend a little bit of oats in it to be more filling. But I like sharing it with him because then it makes me feel good. Like I know he got his fruits in, his greens, yogurt, all the good stuff. But I am going to go drink this. It is so yummy. Okay, I don't know if you're like this. Let me know down below, but I do not like how bananas taste when they look like this. I really only like when they're like green or super yellow. If they have like any brown to them or are too yellow, I just don't like how they taste. And my husband bought a ton of bananas the last time he went to the grocery store, so we didn't get to get through all of them. But I don't want to waste them, so what I'm going to do is I break them in half and then I put them in... Um, plastic bags and then I put them in the freezer and then I have a ton of frozen banana for future smoothies. Okay, I just got ready for the day. Um, I put William in his high chair in front of the TV. We're doing some screen time because I have to get some cleaning done. And I gave him one of these. He loves these. He calls them cookies. It's just a chocolate rice cake. So I got ready for the day, did my makeup. I'm also wearing a new outfit. I bought a bunch of clothes, a bunch, not really, but water. I bought some new clothes from Old Navy. Water. Your water? water? Hold on, give me one second and I'll find it, okay? Let me go find his water. So like I said, I got some clothes from Old Navy online. They were having like a really good deal. I think like these shirts were like $8. So I got this shirt, it's just a t-shirt. And then I also got some leggings. Here, let me show. I don't know if you can see, this mirror is something <laughs> that I'm gonna clean today. It has so much dust on it. But it, I don't know. I think that they fit really good. I've gained like 10 to 15 pounds since the beginning of the year. So I've been working really hard to just try to be more mindful about what I'm eating and work out a little bit more and everything because I can definitely tell. So um, yeah, these pants have like this on the leg. I don't know if you, you can see that, but I really like them. And I think they were only like $18. So if you need some new clothes, if you've also gained some weight like me, definitely check out Old Navy because they have such good deals. The kitchen is trashed, but I'm gonna tell myself once I clean it, I get a reward and my reward is gonna be one of these. So I think, I feel like most of you guys know that I'm lactose intolerant, so I don't ever have like milk or anything like that. I can have cheese, it doesn't bother me as much, but like milk or ice cream would be horrible. So I got these dairy-free ice cream sandwiches, vanilla bean, and I really like them. I'm someone who doesn't usually like coconut milk anything. I just don't like the taste of coconut. This does have a little bit of a coconut taste, but I still really like them. And they're really tiny, but they hit the spot. <laughs> Okay, so this is what the kitchen is looking like. It just needs to be picked up, and I need to go ahead and 
start a load of dishes. Actually, I think there's... So yeah, so I need to unload, finish unloading this, and then load the dishwasher. And then something else I think I'm gonna do today is switch out like our sheets and bedding just to a different bedding. We have two kinds. I think I'm gonna switch like the duvet cover. I don't know, we'll see if I have time. I leave the TV on, I'm done with your sad eyes. I can take another night with you on like this, so let's go. Okay, I think this is what I'm gonna do for dinner. Really simple. This is like my favorite. It's from Walmart. It's the organic quinoa and brown rice with garlic. I think I'm gonna cut up a zucchini. I'm gonna cut up and toss the zucchini, broccoli, and onion in like minced garlic, onion powder, garlic powder, olive oil, um, all of that stuff. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven and roast it. And then I'm going to put those 
and the beans with this on top of this. I think that'll be really yummy. And then I never make these in the microwave. I'm, I'm like weird. I try to just not use the microwave if, wave if I don't have to. So I'm going to heat it up on the stovetop. And usually you add a little water. But I'm going to use bone broth instead just to add some extra nutrients. And yes, quick and easy dinner. I wish we had chicken or something, but we don't. Lost again, going back around Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they mind in my near and far? Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are? Send a prayer if I'm out Okay, this was such a hit. I haven't even ate yet, and William ate all of this. He seriously loved it, and he doesn't usually eat a lot of foods like this, and he loved it. That makes me so happy. It, I don't have any of your kids watch that show, and they're like, do you like broccoli? Do you like broccoli? Yes, I do. Well, that's what he kept singing, and he would eat a broccoli every time he sang it, so I feel like that show made him want to try broccoli, but this is so yummy. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, so it is really late and I'm really tired, but I didn't get as much cleaning done as I wanted to today. And I was like kind of falling asleep on the couch and then I like got up to get some water. And while I was in the kitchen, I was like, let me just throw away like all the trash that's on the counter. So I did that and now I'm kind of motivated just to tidy up the living room real quick before I go to bed. That way when I wake up, it just feels better. I can like come out here and edit before William wakes up or I don't know. I just, want, I just feel like tidying it up. But normally if I film like a cleaning portion of a video, I go like full cleaning video style where I pull out like my tripod and get everything set up, try to get good angles. But then that's usually when I don't end up filming. Like sometimes I'll wanna film a video and then just be like no and I just don't because I'm like too lazy to get like everything set up like lighting and tripod and try to get the angle right so you know what i'm just gonna do it like as real as possible i'm just gonna like set my camera up there or right here you'll notice that this dresser that's usually right here is right there james moved it out and we're gonna move it to the garage tomorrow because um william has been climbing up onto it recently and like no matter what we do he's like not listening when it comes to that dresser so we're just gonna eliminate the issue and put it in the garage because I don't really like it there anyways and it doesn't have like anything in it you know and I've never decorated it like <laughs> I had the intention of decorating it but I just think it's like a weird spot so anyways maybe I'll put my camera there I don't know the living room's not bad it just needs to be tidied up and I'm just gonna suck it up and do it but I'm not gonna make huge production because when I try to make a huge production, I just end up not doing anything. <laughs> These are out here because last night, James and I actually blew up like the blow-up mattress that we have. It's like a queen size blow-up mattress. And sometimes we'll like push the coffee table over there and blow it up right here and watch movies. And I don't know, kind of make it like different than how we always watch movies. So that's why there's like sheets and stuff out here. It's from the blow-up mattress. So I'm just gonna go put these with those. Set a better route if I lose my course. Count on my company and I will come. Save me when I am falling. Save me when I am falling. Save my love when I fall. Baby, I'm stuck.
wanted to show you guys, <laughs> look at my phone. Can you even see the crack? Oh, I don't even think you can see, hold on. Look at that. I have had this phone, it's an iPhone 7 Plus. This is my cat, by the way, if you guys haven't seen her before. I wanna say I've had this phone for, geez, five years? I feel like I've had it since before James and I were married. Um, I don't know, maybe four years. But I have had like an upgrade available for a long time now, but I am just such a cheapo. I just don't, I'm not someone that feels like the need to get the next phone. I feel like they're kind of all the same. And so I've just never upgraded it. And of course, last week, James and me and William were going on a walk and it fell out of my hand and it completely cracked. And I called Sprint and asked them, like, can I just use my upgrade or will I have to pay more? And apparently I'll still have to pay $200 to pay off this phone, this iPhone 7 Plus that I've had forever. I would have to pay off the $200 and then I could use my free upgrade. But then it's not really free, is it? <laughs> so, I don't know. I just bought a screen protector. I don't know if you can tell. Like one of these thick screen protectors. And put it on top so I wouldn't cut my finger. And I'm fine with it. <laughs> It works just fine, so I'm just gonna keep this phone. Okay, so I'm done for the night. Honestly, I'm so glad I got up and cleaned because I was like laying on this couch for like an hour or so just trying to relax, but like every few minutes I just kept thinking, I should get up and clean, I should get up and clean. Oh, the living room looks really bad, I should get up and clean. So I like fully couldn't relax, and so I'm glad I just knocked it out because honestly that took like five minutes, and I feel a lot better, and now I can relax. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like I'm always kind of wonky when it comes to vlogs. Every time I'm editing them, I'm like, is this even entertaining? But I hope it like at least gave you motivation. I feel like I got a lot done today, did a lot of cooking. I don't know, just a normal day at home. I don't really go anywhere, ever, ever. Um, I'm just not comfortable with that yet. Uh, which has been, I found a little bit difficult. Like. I've noticed some people on Instagram have started talking about like what they're planning to do for like their fall decorating videos. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know like my decorating videos are my favorite. I look forward to the fall decorating and the Christmas decorating videos every year. I usually put them out so early and I do so many of them and I just always do fall shop with me. Oh, sorry, my cat like bounced into my camera. Um. Yeah, and I'll do, I usually do like home goods, fall shop with me, Hobby Lobby, fall shop with me. And I've seen like a lot of my friends who are fellow YouTubers and they're kind of out at Hobby Lobby every day or home goods or whatever. And honestly, like I know that it's like allowed now, but I'm just not comfortable with it. I haven't been anywhere since the beginning of March. Oh my goodness, my cat. And I just don't. I don't know, I don't feel comfortable enough to like go roam around Hobby Lobby or Home Goods or anything like that. So I don't know what I'm gonna do this year for like fall decorating videos. I guess I'm just gonna online shop. Maybe look at what there is to do online and because I really don't wanna miss out on those videos. Those are my favorite videos to do. And I don't wanna be like the only person who doesn't do them just because I'm like the only one that's like not going out to stores, but I also don't want to go to the store. So, I don't know, I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll start looking now so I can try to find some good stuff like Kirkland's online or Hobby Lobby or I know even TJ Maxx does online. But man, I just wish the days where I could just go into Home Goods like three times a week trying to find like different things for videos. I miss those days, but oh well. Me and Lucy are tired. And, you know, James is waiting for me to come to bed. So, I think I'm going to end the video here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope it was entertaining. But yeah, please subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. I hope you all are staying healthy and staying safe and happy. And I hope that this video could just be like a little escape from your everyday life. But Bye guys, I hope you all have an amazing day.